welcome to the season of Advent. I have a lot of memories of the season of Advent as it uh, leads forth to the wonderful celebration of uh, Christmas, the birthday of the Savior. We've just celebrated a major feast in our life, haven't we? The Feast of Thanksgiving, in which we uh, uh, just gave thanks to God for all the blessings that we have received in this country and in our personal lives. Hopefully you had the opportunity to uh, really get into the mindset of being thankful. Advent is a whole different season, a wonderful season. It's actually the beginning of the church year. And we have the four weeks of, of Advent in which we prepare uh, for Jesus' birthday. Now, my experience of Advent uh, was that, um, that my parents engaged all the children throughout the season of uh, Advent uh, in getting ready for Christmas. How did we do that? by cleaning the house. Well, we had to clean everything. We had, to, we had to go down into the basement where the coal furnace was. We had to go up to all the bedrooms and dust under the beds. We had to uh, clean the bathroom extra clean. Uh, uh, even though it was cold, uh, my parents sent us outside to the backyard, cleaning out the backyard, making sure everything was just ready. We spent the entire Advent season getting ready. Not one item uh, depicting Christmas was visible until, believe it or not, December 24th. It was on December 24th that my parents would then bring out the Christmas decorations. But my brothers and sisters, we all remember what Advent was about. It was about cleaning house. In a spiritual way, that's also what we do. We prepare ourselves, we, we clean house. Uh, we get ready for the, the birthday of the Savior. Now, how do we do that? Uh, not with uh, buckets and mops and, and uh, cleaning utensils, but in a, in a certain way, we have those. Uh, what, what do we have? we have? We have confession. What a wonderful time to go to confession. Uh, even, if you're, even if confession is not your, your favorite sacrament, it's a perfect sacrament for the Advent time, just to clean ourselves and, and be ready to receive the Savior when he comes. Also, this is a, a wonderful time to become maybe a little more prayerful than we uh, have been. I know that in the best and in the worst of times of my life, uh, prayer always made its way there uh, because it was what we did and we learned naturally and spiritually that when things were happening in our life, the best thing to do uh, in the anticipation of things was to pray. So perhaps you could use this season of Advent as a time to increase your prayer or to change your prayer uh, and to uh, perhaps make a, an extra visit to church. If your church has perpetual adoration, what a perfect way uh, to, uh, to prepare spiritually, prayerfully for the coming of the Savior. Advent is also a time in the secular world where a lot of people do a lot of shopping and they're anticipating Christmas. They don't want to wait until the last minute, and so they're, they're shopping. They're trying to find that right gift for uh, their loved ones and so forth. We can do that spiritually, you know, the, the, the spiritual way in which we uh, prepare to, uh, to give to our, our relatives and friends uh, the best of what we have. What might that be? Uh, I'm going to mention one thing because I think this one thing is challenging and this one thing is so important and really can change lives. And that would be the gift of mercy and the gift of forgiveness. What a wonderful way to celebrate Christmas, knowing that we've kind of uh, taken care of things, relationships that have been hurt or harmed, uh, uh, br brothers or sisters or, or children or parents from whom we've become a little bit separated uh, for the past, for whatever reason. I found that that when I make the first step towards asking for forgiveness or for, for forgiving someone for what they've done, that I always come away better, and you will too. So my prayer in this Advent time is that uh, you'll, you won't let it go to waste. It's a wonderful time that the church gives us to prepare for the birthday of the Savior. What will you give him? God bless you.